Hey everyone, this is your Sally Coach back again, and we will be continuing our Codebusters lessons. This is still lesson one, we're going to be talking about aristocrats, except today we will be going over K1, which is with the keyword. So, let's get started on it. Alright, so starting with K1, we have three different rows here. K1, this is the cipher text, and these are the letters that are going to be in the problem that we need to decipher and figure out what it truly means. That's going to be the plain text, which is the replacement row. And this replacement row is going to be part of the letters that come in our true quote that we need to figure out and our answer in the end. Now, we also have frequency. Make sure not to think that the frequency is of the cipher text, but it's the frequency of the replacement letters. That's really important to know just so that you don't make any mistakes. So just know that the frequency corresponds to replacement in K1 alphabet when solving an aristocrat. Now, going by the alphabet, we can see that the keyword is placed in a random spot. It's always going to be in a random spot. It could be at the start, it could be at the end, it could be in the middle. It doesn't matter where it's going to be, and we won't know where it's going to be, so we need to figure out where it is. It's not as much where it is or what it is, because the most important part of solving any aristocrat is just getting through the whole entire aristocrat. That's just the main part. It may tell you that 50% of the aristocrat is based off of the keyword, or s so like 10, maybe 20 points as part of the keyword, but you should always make sure that you figure out the entire aristocrat and then get to solving the keyword. If you are stuck in middle solving the aristocrat, make sure you try looking at the keyword because it gives you almost all the letters as I'm about to show you. Like look, if you see the keyword, it placed right here, and then it starts immediately at A right after the keyword ends, so it's going to go A, B, C, and then straight to F. It jumps to F because D and E are already in our keyword. So since we already have D over here and E over here, A, B, C, we skip D and E, F, G, H, I, J, and then we get the K in our keyword, so we skip it along, go to L, and so on and so forth. But I'd say whenever you're solving a K1, K2, even K3, you should seriously just solve the entire aristocrat for it to get as many points as possible. Sometimes they tell you that it's going to be um, a certain amount of points, but usually it doesn't tell you at all. And if it doesn't tell you, that means you have to solve the entire aristocrat to get your points. So thank you for listening about this. And if you want to try a practice problem, be sure to look at my next video. Where I'm going to link down in the comments because that one's going to be all about um, solving K1. It's also going to be on the next video on this playlist in case you can't look for it in the comments or it's not posted. But be sure to look at it after because it's really nice to solve a single practice problem and get a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve a K1 aristocrat. So thank you for listening.